Hi, I'm Bonnie, and this is my best friend Annie. <laughs> we've been best friends since we were kids, and we've been inseparable since. But I have a secret. I don't like her in the same way she likes me. Fast forward to present time. I can't believe we're finally in high school. We're going to make so much great memories. Definitely. Can't you ever just cheer up a bit? Get in the teenage spirit. I'd rather reset my Roblox avatar. Come on. This place looks way cooler than I thought. My locker number is four. Mine is two. Are you guys new? Yeah, today's our first day. So far, it's been so cool. Don't get used to it. This place can get on your nerves. I'm Freya. I'm Annie. I'm Bonnie. Is it geography for you guys too? Yeah. Yes. The classroom's right there. Follow me. The teacher isn't here yet. Let's go sit at the back. Our geography teacher is kind of weird. Sometimes she has good days. Sometimes she has bad days. Once she tied a kid to the door for breathing too loud. Yup, Annie. This school is so cool. Oh, be quiet. Hello, class. I'm Miss Steelberg. Welcome back to school. How were your holidays? It was great, Miss. All right, shut it. <coughs> oh, I see there's two new students. Yep, I'm Annie, and that's Bonnie. Oh, that's nice. But guess what? I didn't ask for your goddamn name. And I didn't pick those seats for you. Blonde one moved down next to Clayton. Purple one moved down beside the crybaby. <sighs> I'm Clayton. Oh, okay, thanks. 30 minutes later. So the Richter scale is used to calculate the intensity of earthquakes. Whenever the Earth's tectonic plates move suddenly, it causes an earthquake. It's the sudden release of friction in the tectonic plates, which causes the earthquake. I feel like I'm going to sleep. Imagine how much Annie is suffering right now. Where is she? And so I said, just punch the guy. You are so funny. A uh, well, at least she's not suffering. At the end of class. Before this class ends, we have a project due in six weeks. We literally just got homework on the first day of school. Everyone go pick a partner. Finally, I can go talk to Annie. Hey, Anne, wanna be partners? Oh, sorry, Bonnie. I'm already Clayton's partner. You can go ask Freya over there though. Yeah, I understand. Freya, do you want to be partners? Sure. Well, we have a break for an hour now. Do you want me to give you both a tour of the school? Yeah, that might be fun. I'd love to, but I can't. Clayton said he wanted me to hang out with him. Oh. Should we go now? Yep, let's go. Oh well, let me take you on a tour. At the end of school. It's been so fun hanging out with you today. Yup, you too. See you tomorrow. Time to go back to my dorm. Ah, what's he doing here? Sorry, I was just helping in with her homework. Anne? That's my nickname for her. Calm down, Bonnie. We're literally just working on our project. I can have other friends, you know? Friends? Whatever. I need some fresh air anyway. Sorry about her. Friends, that's all we are. Why am I so bothered? I'm bothered because some random dude is replacing our friendship. Some random dude she met today versus me who has known her for years. That's why I'm bothered, right? And the following week was just horrible. I had barely spoken to her since she was always with Clayton. Every time I tried to meet up with her, she'd always be with him. It was as if I was invisible. She didn't even notice me when I was in the same room as her. Did our relationship not matter anymore? One week later. Hey, Bonnie, why the long face? Why are you so angry about her hanging out with Clayton? I'm not angry. It's just that he replaced our whole friendship. So you're mad he is in the way of your friendship? Or are you jealous of his relationship with Annie? I don't know what you're even talking about. I'm going. To my surprise, someone followed me out. Hey, Bon, wait up. Do you want to get ice cream this afternoon? Sure, I guess. 
Is there anything you want to tell me? No, not really. Come on, let's go get ice cream. But, but what about school? Frick school. And strangely most of our day passed as if Clayton didn't exist. We bought ice cream. We went all over town, but I still wasn't quite sure why she randomly hung out with me that whole day. However, I didn't care. It was by far the best day I had with her. But everything changed. Just when we were leaving, she brought me to a gorgeous fountain. So I hope you've enjoyed today, but I've been wanting to tell you something. You can tell me anything. I'm in love with Clayton, and I'm sure he likes me too. I can't help but blush when I think about him or see him, and I think he might ask me out soon. Are you happy for me? Yeah, definitely. But I most certainly was not. She loves him. She fucking loves him. She doesn't care about me. Even though I've loved her for years. I've loved her for years. Why am I trying to deny it? I've always known this. I've always seen her much more than a best friend. And she's seen me as nothing more. He is not going to have her for long. That was the day I finally confronted my feelings. I was in love with Annie and have always been. The next day. Hey, Bob. Not now. Who am I kidding? Freya, come here. Actually, no. Follow me. I'm sure no one can hear us here, as you always assumed. Yes, I have a crush on Annie. You actually, I'm so happy for you. I'm not. Why not? She likes Clayton. They're probably going to date soon. Oh, didn't you know? Know what? You don't. Freya, can you just tell me? Freya! Fine. Clayton and Annie were sucking each other's lips in the hallway. What? Annie and Clayton were making out. Oops, I'm sorry. You're an idiot, Freya. I felt as if someone was stabbing me in the heart a million times. Yep. We need to do something about this. What can we do, Bonnie? They're already dating. Well, I'm presuming from seeing them eat each other's lips. I don't care. I loved her first. He's not taking her away from me. What is she talking about? Wait, Bonnie. What do you mean he's not going to have her? I'm going to make them break up. Hi, Bon. Clayton asked me out today, and I said yes. That's great, Annie. I'm going to get a drink. Bon, you'll find a great guy one day, too. I don't want a guy. Thanks. Why can't she feel the same way I do for her? I raced over to Freya's house. Why, you may ask. Did you get him? He's right here. Good. We are going to break Clayton and Annie's relationship up. For the following days. That's what I aimed to do. I tried finding every way to stop Annie and Clayton from hanging out so much. I'm going to take a bath. A few minutes later. Bonnie, I think Clayton messaged me. Can you text him back? Okay. Hey, you wanna hang out tonight? Sorry, I can't hang out this whole weekend. Don't ask me again. Don't take too long in the bathroom, Annie. I'll just wait outside. Hey, Bonnie. Have you seen Annie? She's ill today, sorry. Uh, I understand. Thanks. Did you see Clayton anywhere? Nope, I don't think he came to school today. Class dismissed. Wait, I need to get my bag. Just wait outside for me. Hey, do you know if Annie can hang out? Sorry, she has a ton of homework. She's busy all week. I understand. I'm so glad we have no homework this week. But my friend's help just ruined my progress. Okay, so when Annie comes, act like Clayton hurt you. She doesn't like bullies. So she'll immediately hate him, okay? Yeah. A few minutes later. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. I love you, baby. <coughs> what the hell? You were standing there smiling? I was gonna do the plan, but he called my glasses cute, so Elle smiled and got distracted. Fuck you. Freya, you know what to do, right? Yeah. Okay, go. She can't fail me. Ten minutes later. How could you? How could 
you do this? What the hell? What did you even do? What do you mean? You were supposed to make it look like you were kissing Clayton. Oh, I thought I had to catch yell bugs near Clayton. Nothing worked. The more I tried, the more their relationship grew closer. Clayton has officially stole her heart. And Annie has officially broken mine. At night. <sighs> what the hell? We didn't know you'd be home so soon. I don't freaking care. I don't want to see you kiss your man whore in my dorm. Go kiss him near the garbage bins. Not in here. What the hell? Calm down. No, I'm sick of seeing you with him. If you're so ob facking obsessed with making out, go move in with him. It's not like we ever hang out anyway. It's clear that some fac boy is worth more than our 10-year friendship. And what I wanted to be more than a friendship. Ugh, I hate everything. I needed to do something to release my anger. So I decided to write all my feelings into a text message. I've always loved you. I feel better, I guess. Now to erase that message. Should I send this message? No, 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 the message sent. I don't know how to start this message, but I love you and I've always loved you. Every moment I'm not speaking to you. I'm thinking about you. I ignore you for the sake of not having to torture myself by seeing you and Clayton together. Because every part of me aches to see you love someone like that. I get horrible jealousy and wish I was Clayton. So I could be loved by you. I don't want a guy. I want you. Damn, this guy has white hair, old man wannabe. Kyoto, stop flirting with that girl, she's literally your fifth this morning. Just bored. Don't be jealous, Riaz. No shit. School already sucks. Why am I volunteering myself to suffer? Ooh, whatever, I already paid money for the shit. Ooh, new student? Damn, just witnessed the start of a love story. Look where you're going unless you wanted to. What's your name? None of your business. What if I ask the same question? Same answer. Fuck off. <laughs> Playing hard to get? On point. Actually, what's your class? 10A. We're in the same class. I hate people who play hard to get ugh. Wow, all right. Get your hands off me, gay shit. Don't act like that when you're also a gay shit. Are you my brother's friend? Who? The black hair guy. I'd rather ja. Would you like to be friends with me instead? Sure. Time skip. Break time. What's your age? 14. Oh. I thought you were 15 or 16. That's okay. Sis, what are you doing with that old man? Who are you calling an old man? You. What's your problem? How annoying. Just ruined my mood. Where'd you buy that? Wait, you like milk tea too? Obviously. I'm taking all my words back about you. Aren't you supposed to be beating up that dude? He backed out. Are you a delinquent or something? Aha. Uh -huh. No, of course. Best liar on earth. You're right. Did you just drink my drink? Yes. What you going to do about it? Drink that, shithead. Isn't your headphones gonna explode? It really should. Yeah, but still, where did you buy it? Hicka. No wonder it sucks. You. Chill. You Riaz and Mr. Hard to Get. Why are you drenched? It's, um, embarrassing. Why don't you tell me then, princess? What did you just call me? Nothing. You and your boyfriend here are really annoying, you know. You better shut up before I punch your face. I'll bash your school with a shotgun before that happens. Yeah, but you don't have a gun license. Doesn't mean I don't have any guns. Give proof. I'm not stupid enough to bring a gun to school. Is that dried blood? No. Stop holding so tight, can you? It's five minutes past break. We're late. You concern me a lot. Good. Actually, why are you not wearing a uniform? I paid the school to not oblige to the dress code. This is why you should marry me and you get my money. Have I been replaced? Nah, you finna marry me too. Why am I even sticking around here? Well, you better change before the teacher sends someone to find us. Don't you think that white hair guy is pretty interesting? 
What's next? You telling me you want to blow his back out? Don't be so jealous. I'm not jealous. All right then. I swear. All right, bye babe, I'm gonna hit on him. Hey princess. What's wrong with your head? It's almost like you have no brain cells. Okay, but did I ask? Go away. Are you looking to get punched? Just bored. You better let go of me. Why? Damn, I didn't tell you to actually do it. I'm not doing anything. It's called a hug. What did I even do to get you to too annoy me? What you did was looking hot. What a headache. I have officially fell in love. Alright, I don't think he'll ever like you back. You shut up. Period, before school ends. How do I divide again? No clue. Yo, princess. What are you doing? I'm trying to ask Mr. Nerd to help me. You're not actually that stupid, huh? Rieko. Why are you screaming my name? Tutor me and I'll pay you. I don't need your money. We'll pay you a lot. Go buy some IQ if you're that rich. How about 2,000 from both of us? That's 5,000. This guy can't even depress to. It would ever. I'll have nothing to do nowadays here. All right, fine. At night, Kyoto's house. If you thought the class instead of Mr. Smith, I would be passing everything. It's really not that difficult. You know, fact doing the homework. You're literally paying me for thousand to help you do homework. What do you mean? Why are you so close all of a sudden? Don't worry, he won't do anything. Is this some sort of prank? No, he's just like this sometimes. I don't know why to be honest. How long before he snaps out of it? I have no idea. Kyoto, you all right? What's your problem? What? I'm leaving. Why? What do you think? Huh? You literally just grabbed Rieko onto your lap. I did not. When you snapped back, wasn't he on you? You need to fix that problem of yours. All right, damn. The next day. I'm apologizing for Kyoto because he was too embarrassed to face you. Actually, you're really cute up close. Pardon. Are you trying to flirt with me or what? Yes. I have a DJCK. Honestly, even better. How interesting. What's your sexuality? Why are you asking? Oh, never mind it. All right. Is he in a good mood? He seems less rude than a few days ago. Maybe he's becoming soft for me. At lunchtime. Seiko. What do you want, Ray? Why are you hanging out with a nerd? Is it because you like him? What's wrong with you? I'm just talking to him. If you like her, just say it. Of course not. I'm gonna throw up. You, me, back of the school. I'm not fighting a kid. Who said it was a fight? Me. I want advice from you. Why not tell me now? Because I'm busy. Just go there. All right then. Finally. Dismissal back of the school. What is it? And you say not a fight. Stay away from Seiko, nerd. You. My glasses. You like it? Of course. Rieko, what are you doing? What do you want? You need to calm down. Why? They broke my glasses and punched me. So you're gonna shot them? At least you know. I still have a gun on my hands, you know. Of course I do. I could just kill you. You wouldn't GL me, right? Who said I won't? Me. Yo, Riaz. Kyoto, you don't see anything. Please help me from this maniac. Says the one with the gun. But you said you weren't stupid enough to bring a gun to school. Of course I'm not. Technically, I'm out of school's campus. This is such a romantical position. Good you know. Wow, I'm so jealous. Also help me, Kyo. He still has a gun, you know. I swear I'll sit you in your DJ CK. You too. Shiver me timbers. Move your hand, Riaz. Let me kiss you. What no? Boring. Dibs. What? How am I suddenly so important to you two? Because you're interesting. Yup. I'll pay you to date me. I can pay you more. Don't listen to him. He's broke. Bruh. Actually, you look familiar. I swear I'll have seen you before. Maybe he's that kid we saw a few years back. What are you two even talking about? Six years ago. Kyoto, let's get out of here. It's terrifying.
Look, mommy will love you even if you do this. Just remember to continue to be happy. Don't listen to that whore's rubbish words. We need to get out of here. Shouldn't we help him? Did you have blonde hair before? Stalker. So you GL'd someone before? Why are you asking? I think I seen you hold a woman gunpoint. What? <coughs> you better keep your mouth shut. Ha. Huh. You're so annoying. Rieko, calm down. Don't you dare bring up my mother. You're scary. Good. So? I have a feeling you really want to get shot. I want to know your backstory. Why should I tell you? Because you should. I don't trust you enough. Did you just kiss me? Guess I know who's God's favorite now. Right. Why do I feel jealous? For Rieko or both? <laughs> What's that noise, a kid? What's a kid doing here? Excuse me, are you alright? Uh, no, I lost my parents. What does your parents look like? Yellow eyes and black hair. Why don't you come with me? I'll give you to the police station. That's sketchy. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Really? Yup. If a guy with white hair with looks like an old man came up to you and asked where's your parents, and he said he'll bring you to a police station, would you accept this sketchy motherfucker? Can I play there for a while? Sure. Damn, it's already 12 a.m. I can't see anything without my glasses. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a kid with black hair and green eyes? Are you his mother? Yes. Have you seen him? He's over there. Thank you so much for looking after him. Well, the trains are probably gone now. Guess I'm walking back home. Rieko, why are you here? Who the hell is that? I literally can't see three meters from me. Rieko? Oh, it's you. What do you mean, oh, it's you? It means I don't want to see you. What did I do? Also, why aren't you at home or something? Because I ditched the train to help a kid. You like kids too? Who doesn't like kids? They're really adorable. The weirdo Kyoto. But how are you gonna get home now? Walking. You should stay over at mine. Kyoto is there too though. Do you just sleep together too? You two are always together. Where do you get that? So you do it. Of course not. Besides that, you should stay over at my house. It's freezing. Alright. Kyoto, Rieko is staying over. Bro, I want to sleep. I'm exhausted. In the morning, getting ready for school plus waiting for Riz. What are you looking at? Your beautiful face. What else? I'm so close to punching you. If it's from you, I'm fine with it. I'm so glad I don't have my glasses to see you. Your flirting skills sucks by the way. Ha! Huh, playing hard to get again. How would he be once he's under me? In school? Never thought a guy would confess to me. Same. Hey, Rieko. Who is calling my name? Hey, cutie. Catch. Did you just throw a basketball? Rieko, you alright? I'm profusely bleeding, and you ask me that. Need me to bring you to the nurse office? Let me bridal carry you to the nurse office, no? My nose is broken, not my legs. I can walk. Save energy. Tell me your thoughts of me again, and I'll choke you. Joke's on you, I'm into that sh Now to continue, I would like to blah 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 you and blah blah blah. Stop staring and help me. Oh no, me and Rhea share the same brain cell, therefore we are thinking of the same thing. Oh how great. I'm between the guys who want me randomly. Self-awareness is good. Alright, bye. So tell me more. Of what? Rieko. Stop smoking and go tell the gym teacher you're alright. Stop being a homosexual first. Why smoke when you can suck me instead? Who? Corny. Why do you wear that necklace everywhere? My mother gave me it. Oh wow. A mommy's boy. At least I have a mother. <laughs> Say one more thing about my mother and I'll snap your neck. Why not? What the hell were you doing? I'll fucking lit you on fire. 
Mrs. Anderson still wants to see you. I'll tear off your arms. Hey, princess. I thought you said you were single. Where'd you get that? Oh shit, did I just hit on a Taken guy? I'm sorry, sir. Since when were we dating? Now, I would have believed you more if you told me you were dating Ria's. If you want me to be with Ria's that bad, why don't you help me? Will you and him leave me alone then? No. Sure. All right. And so, I did. I was sure I didn't like Kyoto or Ria's. Or so I thought. Something. Something was hurting. That something was me. A few weeks later. You won't annoy me anymore. Something hurts. 